Welcome back, Mum. Right, so we were about to fight Water Blight Ganon. I was trying to remember how that fight goes, and I think the best thing to do is to just jump right in. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Should be fine. Yeah, I feel like I remember Water Blight Ganon. Certainly, the first time you fight, fight it, and the fact that it's usually the Again, the first one you might fight. Um, it's pretty tricky. But... Eh, you get the hang of it. I remember being real thingy as well. I think nearly all the other times I play the game is I try to take a photo of everything. Try to make sure that I fill up the compendium. Um, which I would like to have done in this, but uh, again... Lack of the camera feature, or rather, the camera feature being a bit of a pain to get working nicely in this. Um, doesn't help. But that's okay. One day. Oh, I think I realized when there's some cuts between the cameras, why there's a quick flicker in this, but not in the real game. Um, it's because the camera is just supposed to move within one thirtieth of a frame between each point, and I think it's still being interpreted. Interp interpolated, I guess, between each point, which means the fact that this is running higher means you get one frame in between the cinematic frames. Um, I went back and looked at some of the stuff in Mifa's thing as well, and I just noticed like one or two frames there. Okay. Um, I still have the not good part. Um, yeah, I guess if there's ever going to be a time. Oh yeah, and see all those particles right at the bottom? Uh, that has been fixed in a newer version of the emulator that doesn't cause all the particles to suddenly group back in one spot. But I noticed that it was running much... Like, I was getting like 25% less performance out of it. Um, and I thought, you know what? It's not worth it just for the particles to not go crazy. Um, so yeah, anyway. That's my little... Let's go... Okay. I don't know if I really should be using up my uh, shock arrows now. Should we use something better? Ah, let's. Let, let's pause. Well. Looks like I'm not gonna get much more use out of it anyway. Alrighty. Um, let's. Let's just change back to normal arrows. For now. Let's worry about, like. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I will waste my arrows. I've only got a hundred of them. I think I should be okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no. I ran away from it in the, the wrong way. Ooh. Attack, well thanks. That is good advice. <laughs> um, give me more damage. Let's get the form two. Hey, form two. Form two took me a while to figure out like how you fight it, but I think the um, so you have to fight all these bosses again in master mode. Not master mode, sorry. Um, Champions Ballad DLC, and you have to fight them again like in a more restricted way. Um, no, there isn't. But I learned a trick. Um, I would like to think I came up with the trick on my own, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm pretty sure I saw this trick used by somebody else. So you do this. Wait for it to get close, and you go. You know what? I should use it fast. And send it back at him. Yeah, right. And then you spend way too long. Wait, okay, right. right, that part makes it this this little thing makes this part so much easier. But you think, what happens now? Well, the first one can block the other. Oh what? It still hit it stasis! You can see it being st oh, it still hit me? Oh man. That's dodgy. That 
Mm. I mean, I did w- I did wait a little bit too long, perhaps, but I stasis it before it hit me. <laughs> yeah, I've got all my stuff back. Right. Mm. I feel so cheated. That's okay. At least it basically just gets you right back into the action. Except now he's right behind me. I know. We're back on this boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get over there. Can I hit him in the arm? I can hit him in the arm. I still did some damage. Alright, cool. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's try not to get hit. Ah. Getting hit is bad for someone who only has three hearts. One game in the air. good? Oh. I still got hit. Hmm. I wonder if running one direction or the other has a particularly greater chance of dodging. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I haven't had this much trouble not getting hit by those spears, especially when I'm on the other side of the room. Usually it's pretty easy to just not get hit by those on the other side of the room. Hmm. Perhaps I'm not as far away. Perhaps I'm not as much on the other side of the room as I thought I was. Perhaps I need to be using another technique that I have learnt and generally haven't bothered to employ. That has a long reach. Oop. Oop. No, that's bombs. No. Nope, didn't work. I'm sure I've had it where you do that and then, you know... The ice prevents his attack. Okay. Alright. Mm. See, that, those seem like they're missing me by ages. Doesn't seem like there's a problem at all. Now let's just make sure I'm really on the other side of the room. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe I just was letting myself get too... Ah, oh, okay. And then the other problem with being on the other side of the room. <laughs> okay. Buddy. Okay, alright, that was lucky. <laughs> I think his animation moved his head into my arrow more than me being accurate. But I'll take it. Now. So. We're back here. As it turns out, the ice cubes can still hit you even if you stasis them. So. I know. Ah, he's on the top. That's not great. This is not ideal. Get out of the water. Okay. Um, all I've got is two handers, really. Uh, I guess you don't need to hit it back too hard or too quick. You just need to hit it back hard enough. If you hit it just once, it's not enough. You do need to hit it a few times. And you also don't want to do uh, where you run out of stamina while spinning and then fall in the water. I have definitely done that before. Okay, alright. The other thing... Okay. Yeah, you've got to hide behind it and then it won't hit you. Oh no, it's floating away from the platform. I can't hit him. Uh, okay, um, well, it's okay, Mifa. I can't really do much myself. 
I'm just gonna keep. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried that now he's gonna be bring out the old, the old lasers. Yeah, that's that's some laser time, all right. Ah, I actually didn't think he was gonna fall. Uh, okay, it's okay. I can get there. Come on, hey, we did it. No, it was much simpler. I was dying for silly reasons before. I was probably too close with those spears, and I waited probably like one or two frames too long to stasis the cube the first time. Alright, we did. Cool. That only took longer than it should have. But yeah, that stasis thing with the cubes makes that whole sequence much, makes much more sense. Uh, alternatively, you can... Actually, I guess there is something else it could do. If you really want to switch between runes quickly, you can use Cryonis to break the other runes, like we do in the sequence where you go around the outside to get in on the back of Sidon's back. But if you just break all the cubes, then the... Uh, the water blight just makes them again or moves on to the next seat part of this. I don't know, another attack. Um, so break. Whoops. So breaking all of them isn't really what you want to do. But I guess you could just break all but one? Or you can hide behind one. Anyway, there's a bunch of different ways of doing it, which is really cool. Um, I think alternatively, you can also just shoot them in the eye quickly enough. You can use Cryonis to. Create your own platforms. Ah, oh, sorry, Mifa, I was talking over you. For I am now allowed by this freedom to be with you once again. Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on me. I have no need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Ah, oh, thanks. Please accept... Mipha's grace. <laughs> Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. Which is very dramatic and I very I had nearly sad. given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit. For the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. Save her, Link. Save the princess. Thanks, Save Mipa. Certainly as a first divine power that basically gives you a free fairy plus bonus hearts every... Uh, Actually, it's better than a fairy because you get full heals plus bonus hearts. Um, getting those, again, most likely your first one, is pretty handy. But I'm wondering for this challenge if I should turn it off. Because I feel like it basically negates the fact that I'm not wearing any armor or don't have many hearts. Because I can get, as, I can get hit as hard as I want at least once and I'll still be fine. Uh, and then I can probably take at least a few more hits. I feel I feel is not in the spirit of it, of the uh, of the challenge. Um, admittedly, I do still have Daruk's protection on, and that does help. Maybe I should turn it off. Maybe I should turn off Daruk's protection and Mifa's grace. Um, yeah, I like Revali's Gale, but that just that just speeds up exploration and kind of. Although I guess it gets around the fact that they don't have stamina. That's Trixie. Also, how? 
every every other Let's Player has probably brought this up, but how does the elephant get down there? And then how does it get out? I feel like there's a lot of uh, camera trickery going on here just to hide the fact that the elephant's kind of just getting from place to place somehow. Maybe, maybe we can just say it's magic. It can just teleport between bodies of water without needing, without those bodies of water needing to be connected. Who knows? Yeah, that seems way less framey than last time. I'm happy about this. This is good. There was a big old update to my graphics stuff recently and I was worried it would break everything. Thankfully, it didn't. It's a good view from up here. Then we can oh man, there's random frame. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. You really just go say hi to your dad and your brother. They're like right there. I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. You probably could. Even just once more. I feel like Link could go and be like, hey, uh, you can just like go and see your daughter slash sister. She's up there with where you can see that giant divine beast now. Like even if, all right, I can accept that the ghosts can't leave their divine beasts for whatever reason. Other people can go there. Ow. Whatever. It's not... It's not really that important. <laughs> hey, we're back. I really wish one of these guards would at least just once be like, Oh, where did you come from? They just kind of turn and look at me like, Oh, yep, Link's here. And we'll turn this off, and we'll turn this off. I think, I feel like I've only used the Rook's Protection like once or twice, though. Uh, why is this guy? I feel like there's something about to do with, like, Luminous Stones? So I probably already sold them all anyway. Yeah, I did. Anyway, never mind. I think you can trade in 10 Luminous Stones or something like that to get a diamond, which I think in raw rupee value wise is a better trade but it's not like I'm short on rupee. Oh hey! Can I remember any of these people's voices? We will see. Link! You did well to survive your trial. I've been awaiting your return. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all a little... Ugh. It is all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You appeased the divine beast... Divine beast Varuta, and thusly saved Zora's domain. I thought there was not a word in there. I, ugh. We are all truly grateful. What you did for us is more than what we could have ever expected of you. I think I added words too. Link! Uh, I mean, Link! I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. That whole time, you were thinking of Hyrule's and Lady Mipha's well-being, just like the rest of us. All the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Helians after all. It would seem so. That said, I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. Still got very angry looking eyes, but it's probably just his design. Or he's just still angry. 
Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside that chest over there. It was cherished by Mifa, a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please, take good care of it. By the way, Link, I see you are without your trusty blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Did you perhaps lose it when you lost your memory? A wet sword. Hmm, so you have forgotten that as well. That is a legendary blade that only you, the Hylian champion, can wield. I was expecting it was awaiting your return whilst you slept, resting in a sacred forest or some such. There, there are always in forests, those swords. Link, all of the Zora thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. And you too, Sidon. Uh, like Poseidon. I think I just got that. I feel like I should have gotten that way sooner. Well, anyway, as your father, I am proud of you for fighting the divine beast along Link. Alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know you will be a worthy heir when your time comes. Huh. Uh, father, I thank you. The heavy rains have stopped and the divine beast is our ally once again. How glorious. <laughs> Truly splendid. Wah ha ha ha. Link, this is wonderful. Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top tier expression of gratitude. Zozo, so, so, ra ra ra, with all, with, with all our heart, thank you, probably. Zozo, so, so, ra ra ra, thing. I don't think I've seen that happen in the previous games. Ah, oh, they're whistling. Can Sora's whistle? I guess they've got lips. It's fine. We did it. And the episode only went a little bit long, thanks to further cutscenes. Alright, let's, let's see what's in this chest. It's the light scale trident. Oh, my inventory's full. Wait, didn't my sword break? Uh, I probably broke in a different... Well, it can break right... Whoops. Right now. Broken. Hey, I got it. Sweet. Cool. Um, Let's also give Link some food. Because... Nom nom. Now he's not blinking red. We did it! Cool! Three Divine Beasts down! One more to go! Uh, I feel like I need to go back up to Akala because I got a bit distracted there. I feel like I at least need to do that labyrinth in, the, in there. Then come all the way back down here. Uh, wait, no. All the way back down here. Do Farron and... Do... What is this called again? It's Hyrule Lake? Helion Lake? That area. Then earth to the Gerudo, spoilers, then back up maybe, at least get this tower, which I probably will, just doing this section, and then back towards central Hyrule, and fight Ginnon. Or Calamity Ganon, rather. Anyway, hope you're having a good day, Mum. Love you.